huomenta. Se on torstai 13. päivä huhtikuuta ja kello on 5.40. Mä heräsin tuossa tunti sitten ja enpä saanut enää unta, kun täällä linnut pitää meteliä sen verran. Niin ajattelin, että käytetään tätä aika nyt hyödyksi ja aletaan editoimaan videoita. Sanna luonnollisesti vielä nukkuu. Olisi ihan järkevää munkin nukkuu, mutta nukutaan vaikka sitten päivällä päiväunen jos kerkeä. Tai ensi yönä sitten. Mutta joo, mä alan nyt editoimaan videoa, niin katsotaan. Meillä oli tänään sitten kymmeneltä tämän paikallisen viinitilan viiniteistin. Se on mielenkiintoista. No niin, nyt on pikkasen kiire. Oli kymmeneltä sovittu teistin ja kello on jo muutama yli, muutama minuutti yli. Mutta tässä on tämä päärakennus, hienon näköne. Ja tota, tonne minä Sanna Hilpas, Sanna Hilpas vessaa, yllätys, yllätys. Ja varmaan täällä on sitten toi teistingi, en ole ihan varma. Ei siellä vielä ketään varmaan oo. Ei. Ah, buongiorno. No niin, täällä. Uh, hello, uh, welcome uh, to our uh, winery. Uh, we are uh, in uh, Azienda Agricola Fratelli Rabino in Santa Vittoria d'Alba. Uh, our uh, winery is uh, in the south of Roero. This region is called Roero. Uh, the Tanaro River divided these uh, two important region of, uh, of wine uh, from Piemonte. Langa is on the right and the Roero is on the left. Um, the wine that are products are different. Uh, because uh, change uh, the soil, uh, change uh, the weather, change uh, different uh, microclimate uh, and uh, change the producer uh, and uh, the, the style uh, to produce uh, wine. Uh, our uh, story starts uh, in the 1907 um, because uh, my family bought uh, this house uh, from uh, Savoia family um, and uh, the first and the second generation uh, cultivated uh, only the grape and sell the grape to the industry from my grandfather and his brother in fact fratelli the rabino fratelli in english is brother and the brothers were my grandfather and his brother started to produce wine also uh, and uh, then my parents and now i and my two sisters with uh, our parents uh, we have uh, 20 hectares of a vineyard, um, a lot of uh, part uh, around uh, the winery. Yeah. The other part uh, in uh, this uh, town, Santa Vittoria d'Alba. Uh, and uh, we cultivated also uh, 18 uh, uh, hectares of uh, hazelnuts. Yeah. The nuts in Piemonte is very important. Yeah. Are they hazel trees? Yes, yes, sure. Um, it's important because uh, in Alba, near uh, far away 10 kilometers from here, there is a Ferrero. Uh, but uh, uh, is uh, also a lot of uh, important uh, uh, small industry that uh, produce uh, artisanal products um, with nuts from Piemonte. The nuts from Piemonte is very special because it's a particular size uh, and a particular aromas in the mouth. Mm -hmm. um, completely different from the nuts of uh, Central Italy and the nuts from other parts of uh, the world. Uh, it's different from the nuts for, from uh, Turkey, for example, okay. or, or uh, uh, in the south of South of America, is uh, different. Okay. Um, we cultivated uh, um, I and my family um, white and the red grape. We cultivated Arnaise, Favorita, and the Moscato, that are uh, three white grapes, and uh, Barbera and the Nebbiolo, that are uh, two red grapes. We produce the typical wine from uh, this region, from Roero. Um, also in uh, the style, uh, because uh, our uh, wine are very drinkable, very fresh wine. Uh, you don't need uh, to put in your cellar and uh, drink between uh, three, four, five years, uh, because uh, the soil, the weather of uh, this uh, area, of mm -hmm. Roero, yeah. uh, give uh, uh, to the wine this uh, characteristic of uh, drinkable. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Wow, you have many tanks. Yes, uh, here uh, we produce the white wine, the Arnaise, Favorita, Moscato, uh, a rosé wine called Porporino, and also our uh, bubble wine, our sparkling wine, yeah. uh, made from Arnaise and the Favorita grapes. Okay. Uh, we use the tank because for the white wine we need a lot of clean, yeah. a lot of control of temperature, and uh, is uh, the, the the, the precious uh, material for uh, for uh, keep uh, the the white wine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We use uh, this tank for the red wine uh, during the fermentation and the maturation. The fermentation of red wine uh, is uh, done with uh, the skin, with yeah. the contact uh, of the skin. For have uh, the color, the tannini, uh, our. Uh, um, uh, other substances that are uh, containing the skin, yeah, yeah. antioxidanti, for example, uh, stay in this tank around uh, 25 uh, days. Yeah. Because uh, when uh, they finish the alcoholic fermentation, uh, stay um, for uh, other uh, some days, a few days, uh, four, five, six, it depends yeah. of the year, of the vintage, of the quality of grape. Yeah. Um, for uh, have uh, um, a lot of quantity of yeah. substance from the yeah. skin. When finish this uh, contact, we, we transfer in other uh, tank uh, without the skin. So yeah. when the, the wine is uh, um, uh, cleaner, cleaner, yeah, is a very wine is a true wine, not uh, most. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the wine starts the malolactic fermentation. So the acido malico uh, is uh, transformed in acido lattico from uh, batteri yeah. uh, to have uh, uh, a sweet taste in the mouth, uh, not high acidity. Yeah. When this malolactic fermentation is finished, we transfer the wine in a barrel in wood. Yeah. Uh, the wood is oak. Uh, okay. that uh, stay uh, for aging uh, uh, five uh, months, uh, one month or two years. Uh, it okay. depends from the wine. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a big project to take the wine out and transfer it somewhere else. You have uh, some uh, hose and... Uh, you will use a tube, tube, yeah. tube yeah. and a pump okay. to transfer uh, the wine. Yeah. yeah. But uh, do you make uh, malolactic... Uh, fermentation also with these tanks, same tanks, uh, but you just t change yes, the other. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, we, we put away uh, the skin yeah. uh, and uh, we transfer the wine in a clean tank yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, the wine starts the malolactic fermentation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, put, uh, where, where we put the wine in the bottle, okay. we do the bottling with this uh, machine. The other machine is uh, for uh, the packaging. Okay. Uh, we um, uh, five years ago. Five years uh, ago. Okay. Then uh, we stop and we start to use uh, the tank for have uh, a lot of uh, high quality. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this they are uh, quite beautiful. Yeah. Yes. In fact, uh, stay here because are a uh, part of uh, our heart, uh, yeah. our story. Um, are very old, uh, maybe around eighty. 85 uh, years. This is uh, the part uh, for the aging of uh, red wine. We use uh, this type of barrel, so very big. We don't use a barrique for uh, our style, our tradition. We prefer use uh, this uh, big barrel for have a little bit of taste of wood inside in the wine. We prefer have uh, a lot of uh, fruit, a lot of uh, flower, not uh, a lot of wood. Um, the wood is oak from uh, Slavonia, uh, that is a region in the south um, near Croatia. Okay. Uh, it's a very good uh, type of wood for us because there uh, exists a lot of type of wood for uh, barrique and the barrel. French uh, from Germany. Uh, this from uh, Slavonia is a very sweet, it's very delicate in the tannini uh, for have a little bit, of, only a little bit of taste of wood inside in the wine. Yeah. Okay. How do you, how you uh, know which kind of wood you want to use? How you test it? You uh, both want this kind of barrel and then you put wine inside it. Oh, this, yeah. this 
Uh, allora, the tradition is the first important uh, yeah. step. Uh, our uh, generation use this type of wood and we continue to use yeah, okay. But uh, I and my sister, to taste the other different wood, okay. uh, we do the um, um, experiment. Yeah. Uh, exist a laboratory okay. around here where uh, you can uh, um, um, uh, take uh, your wine in a good, uh, in a in a small uh, wood, different yeah. uh, okay. from a different okay. uh, provenance and uh, 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 have the result uh, in uh, your wine. Yeah, and then you can decide. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I know. <laughs> we have different age of uh, barrel. Okay. The darkest, the darker are uh, around uh, 25, 30 years. These are young, only 12 years. Then I have uh, this barrel, very dark, uh, that uh, have uh, um, 40, 42 years. Okay, the barrel also take color from the wine. Yes, yeah. and uh, they have a, a very, very long life if you um, keep in a good uh, way. How you, how you clean them? Uh, with um, water and um, citric acid. Um, now stay open for two or three uh, days. Uh, because uh, the water inside uh, um, go away yeah. and uh, when it is when it is uh, very uh, dry inside we close uh, aromatic yeah. uh, and uh, we put inside um, um, zolfo okay. sulfur for yeah, yeah. for have uh, not hair not uh, oxygen inside okay. So the uh, muffe, batteri, they yeah. can't uh, arrive and uh, grow up inside. Sharma. Oh, okay. Method. Yeah. Okay. So it's due uh, with uh, this uh, method uh, that in Italian uh, is called Martinotti method. Martinotti uh, method. Martinotti. Martinotti Martino is the name method. of the man that uh -huh. uh, discovered uh, this uh, uh, method for do the, 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 the yeah. spumante. Yeah, spumante. Um, then arrived the Charmant, yeah. another man from French, and. Uh, Give away this uh, discover okay. and uh, in the world, <laughs> okay. in the world, the Italian man, <laughs> and in the world, uh, this uh, um, uh, method of uh, spumantization is called uh, is no uh, with uh, Charmant method, yeah. but it's the same uh, thing. Yeah. The, the structure in the mount is uh, from uh, Arnais grape. It's very, very drinkable uh, wine. And uh, the story of this wine is uh, very um, shortly because we started to produce this wine only uh, 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, we, want, uh, we wanted uh, uh, this wine, I and my two sisters, because we love uh, the bubble, we love this type of wine. My father uh, start, but um, uh, he, he had a lot of uh, dubs uh, because uh, um, he didn't uh, know if the Arnaise and the Favorita uh, <coughs> were grape for uh, our spumantis. Spum yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, he believed in uh, our project and uh, we start and uh, now is. Uh, a wine that our customers uh, love yeah. Yeah. Um, and we are very happy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> this oh, is our nuts. Okay. Allora, this is the Favorita. Favorita is the name of the grape. The grape Favorita is a very big grape. Uh, in the past, Favorita grape, uh, it used only to, to um, hit, not to vinificate, not to produce wine. wine. Okay. From... Um, 70 uh, years ago, some producer start also to vinificate and obtain, uh, obtain this uh, simple wine, delicate wine. It's very, very similar to Vermentino wine. You drink for aperitif, you drink with um, fish, 
not uh, for me with the salame that is uh, uh, stronger for this wine. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would drink this, for example, white fish. Yes. Really white fish. Yes, yeah. uh, yes. Or in summer when it's very yeah. hot, uh, yeah. is uh, the wine uh, for this uh, this time, this condition. Yeah. Uh, is uh, completely different from uh, the other white wine that is the Arnaise. Yeah. That is very so, important, very structured in the mount, also long in the mount. Another difference is the life. Favorita uh, has a short life. Yeah, but this is a fresh and this is kind of uh, wine, uh, mm, aromatic but still light yes. wine. Yes, yes. Okay, this is the Arnaise. Change completely the color. This is a mm, yeah, yellow. Powerful uh, and. Yeah. Uh, it's a very, very good wine. It's a, one of the most important white wine from Piemonte. Yeah. Yeah, this is full body. Yeah. Full body wine. Very, ar very aromatic notes. This you can eat, for example, pork or yes, or also chicken yes, even, also even white meat. White meat, yes. yeah, yeah. Mm, so fish, um, pan and salame, cheese, mm. uh, because it's very important in the mount and. Uh, yeah. Balance this important uh, um, taste. Yeah, we use a uh, different cork. Okay. Um, not, this is natural cork, and we use it for the Nebbiolo and Rero mm -hmm. yeah. for uh, have uh, a long, long life. Age, yes, yeah. uh, this is a, a Diam. Like Diam, the name of this cork is Diam. Okay. Is a uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, is a very, very good and economic cork yeah. for the wine that you drink in uh, two years. Mm -hmm. The white, but also the Barbera, our Barbera. Yeah. And this was uh, Barbera d'Alba. Yes, Barbera d'Alba. Yeah. These uh, wine stay only five months in the barrel, in wood. Yeah. Then we put uh, in the bottles. Okay. Uh, for have uh, this freshness that you uh, have in the glass uh, this uh, very fruit present yeah. uh, yeah. is a wine that you drink two glass when you eat and you aren't too heavy too yeah. uh, boring uh. Mm -hmm. high acid is yes acids high acidity the, is a so, characteristic yeah, of the yes it is yeah and it's 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 good when you have it high acids and and, and fruity and uh, yes. light light for the drinkable, uh, yes, are, uh, yeah. a quality for uh, have a, a drinkable in a glass yeah. of wine. It's the wine that you drink another glass. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we taste the Nebbiolo. Okay, allora, we taste the Roero, the last red wine. This is a uh, do from Nebbiolo grapes, but uh, stay one year more in a barrel. Nebbiolo stay one year, Roero two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the tannini are a little bit sweet in the mouth, uh, um, uh, is uh, round uh, in the mouth. Uh, is uh, also ready to drink now. Maybe the Nebbiolo is a little bit young. Mm. Um, this is also too uh, simple to understand. Mm. Is this a little bit darker than the Nebbiolo? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is a little bit older. Yes, 19. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 19 and Nebbiolo 20, Barbera 21. Yeah, 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 because I think the color is slightly more brown than... Mm -hmm. than. Pitihän sitä nyt muutama herkullinen viini ottaa mukaan. Tämmönen laatikko tuli herkkuja sitten kotikellariin. Nyt me lähdetään autolle. Jail alone and met some mama. 
mia mamma ridare Figli mie cutte dare mamma mia pensaci tu Se tu tu ne lo pesce o le i tu vai I tu vene sempre lo pesce o ma lo tene Si ci picchi la fantasia mi piscio io la figli mia La la li la pisce fritta batta la Eli tässä tultiin nyt tähän Barbareskon vieressä olevaan matkaparkkiin. Tässä on sillä lailla, että 12 tuntia tässä olla. Eli käytännössä voi yöpyä, kun illalla tulee, niin aamulla lähtee. Sanna tuolla tyhjenteleekin meidän kemsaa. Siellä on ajokaivo, minne se voi tyhjentää. Ja tässä on sitten vielä erikseen harmaa vesi kaivo, että on helpompi tähän perutella ehkä. Meidän auto on tossa ja jos me jäädään toho, niin maisema tavautuu sitten tuolta ja mennään kattoon niitä. Ne on nimittäin jälleen kerran aivan huikeet. Tässä on nyt sitten pala Piemontea. Olihan kiva paikka eilen ja tänään oltiin siellä Fratelli Rabinossa viinitilalla ja kiva viinitila majoitus. Erinomaiset viinit ja kiitos vaan Francescalle kanssa tilan esistelystä ja tastingistä. Ne on kyllä aina huippupaikkoja, tuommoiset viinitilamajoitukset näillä matkailuautoilla. Ja tuollakin niin siellä sai raikkaat vedet, sai harmaat vedet tyhjennettyä. Siellä oli vessa, wifi ää, niin kuin, niin kuin lisäksi ja 5 euroa yö oli se majoitus. Niin todella fiksu systeemi ja, ja tota, mutta nyt me ollaan menossa, meillä tulee huomenna tänne kahdeksan meidän kaveriin ja me, meillä on tota, noin yhteismajoitus tuolla Kasa Nikoliinissa ja me ollaan nyt ajamassa sinne eli homma menee niin, että kaverit majoittuu sinne Kasa Nikoliinin ää, niin kuin hotellipuolelle ja me vedetään auto pihaan parkkia nyt mennään kyselemään, että Saataisiko me jo nyt tulla sinne näin niin kuin yhtä iltaa aikaisemmin? Toivon mukaan päästä. Ja sehän on täällä Trestellessä. Joo, täällä Trestellessä kyllä. Nyt te tullaan tänne Kasan Nikoliinin pihalle. Onhan täällä. On tuolla kyllä autojakin, mutta. Oh. Mutta tota, katsotaan. Mikä on tilanne? Tuossa ovi auki, tuosta pitää varmaan käydä heti kysymys. Joo. Ja tulee kissa kiulas. Proprietta privaata. Okay. Joo. Joo. No kyllä täällä nyt ainakin tilaa näyttäisi olevan, mutta tuolta ajetaanko tuon läpi nyt, jos me vedetään tähän laitaan sen. Mm. 